Hey YouTube, How To Tech Studio here, and I'm going to be showing you the top 50 must have free tweaks from your jailbroken device using Cydia. So if you haven't already, the jailbreak uh, videos are in the description or on the card in front of you. And what I've done is I've broken this tutorial into sections. So there are some timestamps in the description as well if you wanted to skip ahead to certain parts of your device. And of course, in the description, I will have all of the sources, the repos that you will use during this tutorial. So let's get started. Flame allows you to edit, add and batch add more than one repo at a time. Really useful and helps you as soon as you're setting up. Shuffle allows you to batch all of your tweaks together in one easy to access place within your settings. Really useful. New term is a really important one for accessing the root of your device and also you would use kern bypass in order to stop jailbreak detection from happening. There is a link in the description on how to get this because it's a little bit more complicated than I'm going to go into in this video but the link will be in the description. Of course Filezer is a really important one that you're going to need in order to access files directly onto your device. Moving on to the home screen, Cylinder allows for different swipe animations this one here the curl and roll away is possibly the most famous of all of them and there are many other customizable ones within the settings and you can then change lots of different animations based on your preference clean home screen is a really nice way of customizing the home screen to look and get rid of other things that you may not want so if you go into settings there are various options that you can choose in order to customize that home screen no Clutter does something very similar to a clean home screen and gives you even more options as well. So mix the two together to really customize that home screen of yours. File Icon Dock 13 is a really simple one. Just adds an extra space on the dock so you can have five, five apps available. Icon Vibe is a really difficult one to go through, but what it does is it gives feedback. As soon as you open an app, it bounces and you feel a small vibration and it really it makes it really nice and feel a nice feel in your hand. Folded is the best way of customizing your folders. So as you can see here, I've got a four by four layout here and you can customize all of those settings within that settings there. So you can have different layouts, frames, icons, colors, and so on. Paste and go to is a really cool, quick way of searching. So if I say copy and then I go to Safari, if I 3D touch, and then I can then paste and search. It will paste directly to my search engine and search for what has been copied. Dotto Plus is a really nice way of customizing the icon dots on your device. You can see here Messenger, Instagram, they have got different colored dots, gets rid of the clunky number, and it looks really nice on the home screen. Size Finder is also a really useful tip. If you put your apps into wiggle mode, you can then see how much space they take up on your device. And you can also delete them here by pressing on the size and then clicking delete. Rofi is a really nice sidebar and I, you can access different apps within anywhere on your device. Here I've got my social medias linked into there and you can just click them and open them up. Silent Screenshot is a really nice obvious way of screenshotting your device but it takes away the sound you can also change the color of the screenshot in settings car switcher allows you to multitask in the ipad view and it is a really easy way to see all of the open apps while here you can also use easy switcher and if you scroll down you can then kill all apps respring or reboot really useful at the bottom of the screen there, home bar sizer. You can change the size of the home bar to speak it smaller or larger depending on your preference. I've linked this with Chroma Home Bar X and you can see colors are scrolling through in a wave format going from reds to greens to yellows. A really nice looking tweak. Digital Battery 13 does what it says on the tin there. It changes the battery to a digital representation. I match this with Color My Battery. As you can see, it's at the moment green but there are many different ways that you can change that color and it will indicate which percentage you have for battery. Colored scroll indicator is a really nice way of customizing the scroll that's on the right hand side there. I've got a red and white sort of gradient, but you can also change anything you wanted to. You can also change its height, its radius and lots of other different customizations. 
volume percent exactly does what it says on the tim there it adds a percentage to your volume as you scroll up and down using your buttons a really nice and clear visualization wonder bar allows you to customize the bar at the top of your screen you can change text colors and get rid of or add different icons to your bar at the top of the screen pencil charging indicator adds a really nice animation as soon as you plug in your device to make it charge so all you need to do is plug it in and then it comes up with this really nice looking animation tells you what your phone is called and its current percentage small siri does exactly what it says on the tin if you enter siri mode a small bar comes up at the top and you can access siri from there Amandus is a really nice tweak that allows you to access a small Apple Pay logo or banner as you pay rather than taking up the whole, whole of the screen. Into Control Center now and CC support allows you to add different icons to your Control Center. Other tweaks also use CC support to add in customizations. Power Module allows you to add Respring to the Control Center as well as any other power modes such as Reboot or refresh. Cool CC adds this cool, nice look to your control center. Better CC also adds better music. So if you play it through here, it makes a really nice, clear visual. Moving into notifications, I've got Blanca and it adds this leafed kind of setting to your notification, makes it look nice and fresh. You can also change this to be whole rounded if you want to within settings. Hide NC text hides the notification banner, making it look fresher and clearer. Color Me Notifs adds a color to the background of the notification that matches the app it is talking about. This is possibly my favorite tweak. Simple LS2 allows you to customize the lock screen. You can change where the date, the time, and you can add lots of different widgets onto the top screen. If you just tap, you can scroll through your widgets. Vinyl adds this really nice playing version if it would if i was playing here for my music i would have a play button and i can scroll through there and as you can see lots of other tweaks also work within my lock screen you can access your control center settings and you can access Rofi like i was before moving on to the keypad real keys adds a really nice clear clicking sort of motion as soon as you're touching it, it doesn't add a sound but it's a small buzz and it really adds like a normal key that keyboard and it feels good, you're gonna run all right essays using it. Any key trackpad, usually you would have to use the space bar to enter trackpad mode, but now you can hold on any key and scroll along, making it really easy uh, to access all of those documents. Delete cut, if you hold down onto the caps and then you can use the backspace to delete whole words as you go along, really useful tweak. Dark keys, does what it says on the tin, changes your keypad to a dark mode looks really nice in normal apps as well as the notes pad s-i-t-u-m or sitem allows you to search words using the search here and it goes straight into your browser and searches whatever it was that you have highlighted really useful to use when you're writing in notepad or other apps Better settings and better settings fix allows you to customize the settings using settings in a jailbroken device you use quite a lot. So you can change lots of different things within your settings and you can change colors, sizing, radius, padding, and a lot of others. It's also links to better settings, settings fix, which takes away one of the banners at the top and stops that bug. Cask 2 is a simple but effective table scrolling animator that allows you to change all of the animations using lots of different preset options that you can choose in order to customize your device. Stick around allows you to pin certain settings to the top of your settings. Drag spring allows you to simply respring your device by dragging down your settings. IK settings makes the padding around the outside slightly larger and rounds off your settings so it makes it look nicer, especially in dark mode. Circle settings clearly takes away the square looking icons and makes them round for a fresher look. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed this top 50 Cydia tweaks for free. Please make sure that if you like this video then hit that like button 
and hit the big red subscribe button so you're notified that for the next video I will be doing more tweaks, more jailbreaks and I do other videos as well. So please hit that subscribe button, support us and check us out. I will see you very soon.